What's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today is October 5th, 2018 and LaunchBox 8.8 .8 has been released. The last update video I did was on LaunchBox 8.6. Since then we've went through 8.7 and now we're on 8.8. .8. With 8.7, there was a lot of fixes and improvements with LaunchBox and Big Box, but now we've added some new features with 8.8 .8, and I kind of want to go down the list with you. First things first, all playlist features are now available to free users and premium users. So this is in LaunchBox here. You can mess around with the playlist. And with the new feature we just added in 8.8, .8, we now have nesting. This applies to platform categories, platforms, and playlists. It's a very flexible nesting feature that's been added to 8.8. .8. It's available to premium and free users. I'm going to go over it just a little bit in this video, but I do have a full tutorial video coming up very shortly. It will take some users a little time to get used to it, but as soon as you get the hang of it, it's very useful. You can nest on multiple levels in the platform categories view. Real quick, I'm just going to go over a very easy way to get used to using this nested feature. Now there's a lot more to it, and I do plan on having a tutorial coming out very shortly, so stay tuned to the channel for that. Let's go ahead and do something very basic here. I'm in LaunchBox. I'm going to go to Consoles, Nintendo 64. So if I right click on any of my consoles, any computers or anything like that, we'll get this here. Hover over Add. We can add new category, new platform, or new playlist. I'm going to go with Playlist. We need a unique name for this playlist. I'm going to call it N64 Racing. The nested name which can be the same as the unique name if you want. And I'm just going to leave it just like that. But you do need a unique name and a nested name. We can add notes to it if we'd like. Auto populate. Now this is really cool. If you're using the LaunchBox games database to scrape all of your metadata, this is going to be super easy to set something like this up with. The first field here is going to be my platform is equal to and the value is going to be Nintendo 64. Second field, genre. It's going to default to is equal to. Now for this here, you can kind of experiment if you'd like to, but what I'm going to do is contains, because sometimes it might be car racing games, motorcycle racing games that the metadata scraped. I want this value to contain racing. You can also manually add games if you like to, and parents. So under parents here, obviously we're under the console category, and we want it to be under the N64 platform. So this should automatically default depending on what you're choosing over here. I'm just going to click OK. Now there's a little arrow beside my N64 platform category. I'm just going to drop down. N64 Racing, and inside of here, since I used the LaunchBox Games Database to scrape all of my metadata, it just took all of my N64 Racing games and put them right in here for me. Now there's a lot more to this nesting feature. I will have a full video coming up because there's a lot to go over here, but this is just a basic setup. Next in the change log, minor big box performance improvements. We also have some fixes here. Big Box was taking too long to fully exit when the allow sleep option was checked, so that has been fixed. And finally, this is kind of a big one here. Recently, Microsoft put out their Windows 10 October 2018 update. This was causing some errors and crashes when clicking on the Add Files button. This really had to do with the way that they set up the new file explorer system in the new Windows update, but it's totally been fixed here, so if you're experiencing any of those issues, make sure you're fully updated. And while we're here, I figured I'd show off this theme made by Grilla over on the forums. He does some amazing work here. Now, for the past few weeks, I've been using this theme here on low-end Intel-based mini PCs. If you watch my personal channel, you know I love those little tiny computers. This here that you see on your screen is actually all running on an Intel compute stick made by Azul. It has an N4100 Intel Celeron CPU, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and it fits in the palm of your hand. I've actually had a really hard time getting Big Box up and running smoothly on a system like this. But with this GPD Win theme, it does an amazing job. As you can see, it's very minimalistic, but it's great for low-end systems. Now, it's called GPD Win. It was obviously made for the original first-generation GPD Win, but you don't need a Win to run it. This is running on a compute stick. 
and I actually have all of my games installed on a 256 gigabyte SD card. There's a little slot on the side of this thing. Big box is installed to the internal EMMC. And as you can see, it's pretty smooth. We're gonna go into Dreamcast. Now this little stick won't run every emulator, but it does do a good job with Dreamcast using the ReDream emulator. So we'll just go through here. Takes a tiny second to load here. Now you can turn the fade off and it might go a little quicker, but I think it looks pretty good. Very minimalistic design, and in my experience, it works very well on low-end systems. So I definitely recommend giving this a shot if you have a low-end system that you've been trying to get Big Box to run smooth on. Now obviously, your mileage will vary depending on the system you're running it on, but for this little compute stick, it does a great job using the GPD Win theme by Gorilla. Link for this will be in the description. So that's it for this video, guys. We really hope you enjoy LaunchBox 8.8. If you're having any troubles with the new Windows October update, make sure you are fully updated. Keep an eye out on the channel for that nesting tutorial. And like always, thanks for watching.